Namaste and a very, very good morning to all of you. I welcome you to my channel, The Outlier. My name is Mithun. In today's video, I'll be talking about a clustered bar chart. Even before I proceed to demonstrate how to create a clustered bar chart using Seaborn library, may I request you to subscribe to my channel, also like and share my videos. Let's begin by asking a simple question. What is a clustered bar chart? A clustered bar chart is also known as a grouped bar chart or a multi-series bar chart. A clustered bar chart is great for displaying and comparing multiple sets of data over the same categories, like sales revenue of various departments of the company over several years. Let's begin by importing the necessary libraries to create a clustered bar chart. One of the first libraries that we would be needing is the Seaborn library. You can see here, we are importing the Seaborn library followed by the matplotlib library and then the pandas library. Both the Seaborn library as well as the matplotlib library are good libraries, are popularly used for visualization purpose. Then we have the pandas library, which is widely used for data wrangling and data munging. Let's move on to line number two. In line number two, what we will be doing is we will be creating some sample data. I have created a very, very simple data so that it's very easy for everybody to follow. So this is the data set that I will be working on. You can see here, this data is organized as a dictionary with three keys. I repeat, this data is organized as a dictionary with three keys. The first key is region, the second key is fruits, and the third key is sales. Each of these keys is mapped to a list of values. I repeat, each key maps to a list of values where each value is where each value in a list corresponds to a row of data. Let's begin by talking about the first key. The first key is region. The region key maps to a list of string where each string represents the region for a given row of data. Within region, we have Delhi, Bangalore, and Chennai. Let's now talk about the second key, which is the fruits key. The fruits key maps to a list of strings where each string represents the fruit for a given row of data. You can see there are different values under the fruits key. Let's now talk about sales. Sales is the third key. The sales key maps to a list of integers where each integer represents the number for a given row of data. You can see here, the values for sales are 10, 15, 20, and 25. So this will create the data which can be used to create the clustered bar chart. Now, the next task would be to convert this data as a pandas data frame. What is pandas data frame? Pandas data frame simply gives you a spreadsheet like view. You can see here, I am executing the command pd dot data frame. pd points to pandas. Data frame is the command that we will be using to convert the earlier data that we had created into a data frame. Now we can just type df dot data off. My apologies, it's df dot head off. You can see here, this is how the pandas data frame appears. The first row represents the region of Delhi. And you can see here, we are talking about the sales of apples 
the sales value is 10. Similarly, the second row again represents the region of Delhi. Here, the fruit that we are talking about is oranges. The sales value is 15, so on and so forth. Like this, we have different rows. What's the next step in our analysis? The next step would be to create a clustered bar chart using the Seaborn library. This is how you can create a clustered bar chart. We have to type sns.barplot. This is a simple command that we can use to create a bar plot. SNS is pointing to the Seaborn library and bar plot is the command which will create the bar plot which we require. We have to specify the x-axis, y-axis and hue. When we talk about x-axis, we can take region along the x-axis. Y-axis will be representing sales and the clusters, there will be two different colors representing fruits. Finally, we have to also specify data here and the name of the data is df. Let me go ahead and execute this particular command. You can see here our clustered bar chart is ready. What is this clustered bar chart telling us? You can see here along the x-axis, we have Delhi, Bangalore and Chennai. And along the y-axis, we have the distribution of sales. What Seaborn has done is it is using two different shades of the color, namely blue and orange. The blue color bar represents the sales of apples and the orange color bar here represents the sales of oranges. You can see two different bars for Bangalore and two different bars for Chennai as well. What is the inference that we can draw? The inference that we can draw from this particular clustered bar chart is the sales of oranges is higher as compared to the sales of apples in the region of Delhi. This trend reverses when we talk about Bangalore. In Bangalore region, the sales of apples is higher as compared to the sales of oranges. Finally, we have Chennai. In Chennai, we see that we have a long blue bar followed by a relatively shorter orange bar. This means that in the region of Chennai, the sales of apples is higher as compared to oranges. So this is how easy it is to create a clustered bar chart using Python. This is the code. I'll again summarize this, sns.barplot. We have to specify the x-axis, which is a categorical variable. You can take any categorical variable. In this video, I'm taking region. In the y-axis, I'm using sales. And for hue, hue refers to the color, different colors. And under the hue, parameter, I'm specifying fruits. Finally, I have to also mention the data frame, which is DF. With this, I've come to the end of today's video. In today's video, we've seen how to create a clustered bar chart in Python. I thank you very much for watching this particular video. I request you to subscribe to my channel. Also, like and share my videos. Have a great day ahead.